asked me if, if Lindvall was the largest human I have seen or guy. Uh, you've gone up against a lot of big guys in the middle. Yeah. How does he stack up, and what are your first impressions? Oh, like? man. Um, one of the most physically imposing uh, players in the NFL in the past 15 years, 10, 15 years. Uh, I was telling him that my welcome to the NFL moment when people asked me back in 2015 was playing him in Minnesota. And um, I mean, just strong, imposing, nice guy off the field, on the field. Um, just, a, just, a, just a really good football player. So to add a guy like that, um, I mean, I'm glad he's on our team, no doubt. And uh, just a monster, man. And he has been for a decade. All right, appreciate you guys. Is that it? Um, you guys have had some consistency up front in terms of, you know, you probably want to knock on wood here, but you've been able to start, you know, this, the same group collectively. What do, you, what do you think that has done for you guys up front, you know, through the first eight games? Well, uh, continuity is the biggest thing for an offensive line, and yet it's the one thing in this league that's hard to predict often um, and to to just have. I mean, we've been very fortunate, knock on wood. Um, we also understand that things can change, and I think more so the guys who are in that backup role understand that uh, at any moment their numbers need to be called and we need to be able to kind of keep flowing like we were. So, um, yeah, we don't take it for granted. And at the same time, we're not planning for anything bad to happen, but we understand that the NFL, the that's just, you know, how it goes through a season. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But for now, we're, we're thankful for it. And uh, I think for communication more than anything, it's been it's been good. I was going to say, do you, you've had a chance now probably this, this past week to self-scout a little bit with the bit of a break that you've had. Have you seen that continuity maybe show up through the first eight games uh, in, in positive ways? Yeah, I think all well, these, these few days I was a full-time dad. I wasn't doing any self-scouting. I was trying to corral the kids. Um, yeah, I would say it definitely plays a role in just uh, – you know, you try to execute as much as possible, and it's tough at times for everyone to be in, on the same page. But it helps when you guys have put time on task with each other, or there's walkthroughs or practice. So I'm going to say that that's very helpful. What have been your initial impressions of uh, Leonard Fournette and this guy who's won a Super Bowl high level that experience can help his team? Yeah, I think he, he's an exceptional football player, a guy I've watched from afar. Uh, from a very for a long time, and uh, another guy that I'm just very thankful he's on our team. I think he's going to make us a lot better, and uh, any facet that he that they apply him in. So, uh, you know, it's it's a, it's it's been interesting to see some new faces this week. Uh, it's the NFL, and and we're we're we appreciate the guys. We're thankful to have all three. I think three guys. And uh, they're going to make us better football players and a football team. Some new additions like that midseason, would that almost be like a shot in the arm for a team to just like something new, some new blood? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't totally know. Um, I know that all I know is that those three players have played football at a high level. And, uh, and when you have guys like that on our team, how can it not make us a better football team? So, uh, you know, we still have a lot of football left. There's going to be some ebbs and flows in the season yet, and those guys are going to help us win football games, no doubt. Mitch, what's your perspective on going back to Cincinnati? And obviously, this week, I know you were one of the guys who we heard from immediately after a couple days, you and Josh. Mm. Just to go back, what do you feel? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I, people can make it a story. People cannot. Um, you know, last year, you know, we we went through a lot there. I think it'll be it'll be different for each person, right? Just as it was when the initial thing happened. Um, but at the same time, I think once once the national anthem sung and we start playing football, then we're back to old hat. You know. Mitch, what is the, the going with business as usual with you versus yeah. giving yourself the time and space to feel? 
Yeah, I mean, good question. Don't know if I'm totally apt to speculate other guys, right? For me, I'm just going to try to attack it like every week. And then if, if feelings come up, you know, understand that there's a reason for them, have them, and then carry on with your job. And that's all. I think guys are just ready to go out there and play against a very good Cincinnati team in a place that we saw as on for, a, for a night game is, is a rough and rowdy place to play. So we'll have to bring our A game because it'll be very loud. Jack, are you aware when you face a team like Cincinnati that, that this is the team that ended your season last year? Uh, maybe I've been doing this too long. Uh, I, I'm aware. Yeah, I'm very aware. Um, I think you, every team is new. And uh, a testament to them is that this is a new season for them and they're still a very good football team. So uh, for us, it'll just be going out competing the best of our ability and flying around. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.